Hello everyone, if you have seen my previous videos, you would know that I am creating a renovation project in Revit. This is the third part of that series. Links to the previous two videos are given in the description box. In this video, I am going to create the corrugated sheet as a roof covering for this building. Before we start the tutorial, let me remind you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. And also, if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start with the tutorial. Now, this is where I have left in the previous video. So, first of all, open new family template file of structural framing and braces. It already has a built-in structure. Double click on it. Go to the uh, right elevation, which is basically this elevation of the extrusion. Delete these lines. And then draw the um, elevation or section of uh, basically the 2d drawing of the corrugated sheet as shown in the video remember that I have drawn 38 millimeter to the left side of the reference plane central reference plane and 38 millimeter to the right side of the reference plane make sure that uh, the uh, section which you draw of that corrugated sheet should be equal on both sides its dimension should be equal and you have to draw two parts one to the left of the reference plane and the other to the right and there's nothing else you have to draw it will automatically uh, adjust its uh, sh uh, its shape in the project file okay then it looks like this Give, provide a material to it Now save this family file and load it into the project. Okay, now go to the structure tab and select beam system from here. Then set the reference plane to this diagonal side, basically the aligned element because the roof is not straight and is placed on these uh, aligned beams. I'm going to draw on this top view of the 3D. So basically I'm going to draw the boundary line on which I have to place the beams. Basically these are not beams but I am using this beam command to, to create this corrugated sheet. Once you have created the boundary line, the second step is to identify the beam direction and the direction is going to be in this side. So you can now see that the boundary line which we have, which I have drawn is like this and not in a parallel 
you're not in the horizontal surface then select this system and here you can see that if the beam type is the corrugated sheet which I have uploaded created and uploaded in this project file and then in this line spacing which is a fixed distance there is six feet value change it to 76 millimeter which is basically the exact distance which uh, by which I have created the family file and now you can see that how easily I have created the corrugated sheet uh, there's a little error it should be above these beams select this join from here and move it towards this point And this is how I create the corrugated sheet in my Revit, Revit project files. It's quite easy. It can be created in any sort of shape. You don't have to adjust anything. Now repeat this process on the other side of the roof as well. So, uh, which is basically the identical part. And now you can see that the roof has been completed with the help of the beam system command. Double click on this wall to edit its profile. You can also work in the elevation mode. I'm working in the 3D. Delete this line and draw it draw the uh, elevation of the wall as shown Now the wall has been attached to the roof. Repeat this process on the opposite wall as well. After that, I am going to place a roof on this washroom as well. Uh, first of all, uh, reduce the height of these walls. It's not proportionate. Actually, I don't have any information that what is the type of the wall, what is the type of the roof of this section and anything so i'm just going to draw a simple roof on it in the structure tab select roof go to level 2 floor plan and with the help of this rectangle draw on these walls select it and uncheck this define slope now if you go to the 3d you will see that the roof is not visible which is because the roof has been constructed in the new construction phase so go back to it and check existing from here because we are working in the existing phase of our project provide material to this roof change you can change its thickness to nine inches or whatever you want then provide material So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. In the next video, I will continue from here. And but the one thing to remember that you don't forget to like, share and subscribe.